Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. I really can't stand you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, dear. Ooh, okay. Y'all, I can't stand her right now. I just want y'all to know that she is a mess. I'm a mess. Yes, you're Girl, a mess. you better get that. Wait a minute. See, there you go. Hold up a second. No, it's the other way around. Oh, you guys, the pre-showing, what we're doing, what we talk about before we even start. Um, I can't pop the bottle. Uh, girl, see? <laughs> and you talk about me being a mess. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome hello, to hello, the show. Hello, hello, hello. Just kind of, sh- we're just sitting here in the pre uh, talking about what we were going to talk about or mm-hmm. pretty much just making conversation. Yes. And um, I got Chiquita back over here <laughs> saying I'm a mess because I'm just telling her all kinds of craziness because mm-hmm. we don't get to see each other. We see each other when we record, like we've yes. said before. So we're kind of catching up. Us. Yes. We ca- we're catching up before we even start the show because mm-hmm. we have oh, so many other things to talk about. So, yeah, a couple of things, just a little backhand for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, one, I was talking about her hair that I'm going to get her a wig. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to get her a wig because sometimes she be coming over here and I'm like, girl, you need to have a cute little wig. So when you can't, girl, you know, when you can't comb your hair, you can pop that wig on and make it look, (laughs) make it look good. She's like, are you going to be? And then that way, when your wig is to the side or crooked, I could be like, Mm -hmm. girl, fix your wig. Yeah. So, but I think a wig would be cute. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Should I get a short wig or like a long, you know, you know. If it were me, you know, I'd mm-hmm. get a long ass wig because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's a wig. I don't care if people know it's a wig. Mm-hmm. You, on the other hand, I don't understand why you get a weave to keep <clears> it short. <throat> it don't make no sense to me. But anyways, so, you know, you could get a cute short okay. wig, maybe something a little curly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that was one. I don't think about it. Yeah, I think we I think you should. Maybe yeah. we'll talk to I'll talk to Tiffany and be like, let's go ahead and let's do. You know, we should do an episode on us mm-hmm. wig shopping for you because that would be good. Because, you know, people want to know what it's like to get a wig. <laughs> This shade is too real right now. <laughs> to get a wig. I uh, can't. I really, I'm done. Okay. I'm well, so I'm just done saying with you. We could. I don't Leave mind. Leave my hair alone, okay? okay? It's been a long week. It's been a long Y'all week. Y'all have to excuse her, okay? <laughs> no, and it's it's been... just, you know, talk about I might need glasses. I've yeah. been in denial. I really go, need to go get my eyes checked. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it is what it is all. Yeah, take eventually. care of yourself. I know. Eventually I will. Eventually. <laughs> I need to because, you know, because of work. Mm-hmm. Constantly looking at all those little hairs all the time. <laughs> looking down I, at the balls. Girl, the hairy care. ones that I clean up for everyone. All you ladies out there that got your men like real nice and clean. Mm-hmm. Be thankful. All those men out there that their women are nice and clean. Oh, you got my favorite, Roscato. Oh, yeah. you know it. Um, it's because I sit there and wax. Mm-hmm. Last night I was at work pretty late waxing balls. It's okay. Yeah. It doesn't bother me none. But, you know, I had some friends that were... Cause mm-hmm. Um, every once in a while I get these tension headaches <clears throat> mm-hmm. and it makes my eye kind of close a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so we were just um, the guy, you know, my friends were like kind of laughing at me talking about, oh, is it because you see balls all day? I said, yeah, one <laughs> one of them hit me in the eye and now I got yeah. an eye infection. So they were just like, you're, <laughs> you're down so low. It just it, yep, popped up. It popped up. So <laughs> it, you know, it happens. Put in that work. No, not in that way, <laughs> girl. <laughs> See, the shade is real. Bye. Okay, I'll let you get me on that. That's yes. not even the deal. So anyways, what's yes. been going on, dear? Um, So much, and I'm so tired, and it's like, it's crazy. Like I said, we haven't seen each other in forever. And um, I basically, I released two more books. Girl, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank <laughs> you. I've been in a hole that I didn't even realize you <laughs> I you released so. you released two I released books. I released two more books. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm really, you really usually excited. let me know when you release stuff. I know. I was just I've been nonstop like working trying to get that. So, are, what was our conversation when we were in Palm Springs? You're gonna after this, you're taking it down yes. like yes. Yeah, she, she yelled at me, you guys. So I'm gonna take a little break from writing. And yes, stuff, and like breathe and, a little yes, bit, breathe a little, because now I'm like seven books in. Okay, published. right, seven books in less than so, a year. And, I can't. Yeah. I know. I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm no, really excited. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Yes. Okay. Yes. You don't know. I don't give you all that many compliments. I know. So she I'm don't. amazed. So I'm gonna take a I'm mini break, you. and then we're gonna get back into getting your book. Set yes. To say, go. Yes. Get, getting my book set to you go. That's an, her next project is my book. Mm-hmm. So we'll be um, we'll be getting ready for that for the next yes. uh, for the next year. Exactly. I'm really so excited. congratulations on Thank your book. Thank you. What else you got um, going on? 
I released my trailer for my web series. I saw that. Yes. It looks so good. So you guys, yes. if you haven't seen it, tell everybody where they can check out your trailer deal. Go to my um, website, HarrowStreetFilms.com uh, or to my YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash Films, And you'll see the trailer for my web series called Deadline which is um, up and out. And I'm actually going to be doing a crowdfunding, um, hopefully to raise funds to continue filming. And we're going to be premiering in 2019, hopefully January or February. February. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, it I'm looks really good. Excited. It looks good. So Thank you guys you. check it out. Um, support the cause. Yes, please, please. So that means I got to so that means I gotta <clears throat> donate. Oh, gosh. I mean, On top of everything else, I'm <laughs> that'll be nice. <laughs> you know, support your promote, cause. Yes. Promote, yes. Get it out there. Hopefully, you know, we can get to see something come of, you know, into festivals or something like that. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and then what else is going on? The podcast is like insane right now. She doesn't keep up with it, but I keep I up not. with the numbers and all that I'm stuff. I'm that girl that just shows up and does her work and then <laughs> yes. she leaves. She does a decorating. Like she has our table all set up really nice and organized and she does all the graphics and stuff. But Okay, but this is it. For my goal for 2019 mm-hmm. is to be more aware okay. and try to figure out our numbers and do a little bit more okay. on the back end of it. Okay. So that way I could help you out because yes. she tells me things. I was like, so what are you talking about? I don't even know. I got other things going on. So, you know, she'll, she's always like, hey, Inez, check mm-hmm. this out. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. But, um, yeah, I guess yeah. our numbers are, we're doing Through well. Through the roof. Yeah. yeah our we're um, sound also, cloud. I just have to say thank you to all you all you all out there listening yeah. to us. Yeah. It has been and mm-hmm. um it's been a real fun kind of road. Yeah. It's a good stress reliever de- definitely from all mm-hmm. opposite of everything we do, but Exactly. No. For us to vent and get all our frustrations Girl, out, but also I, fun I'm talk. I'm glad I got two bottles cuz you sipping that. Listen, it's been a long <laughs> week. Let me tell you, I need you it. You sipping that Roscano <laughs> like it is Water. I'm not even mad. <laughs> I ain't had no coffee today, so I was like, let okay. me just have this yeah. instead. You know, no, no problem. Little, you know. You know what? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Anyway, what's been going on with you? Uh, nothing. Same. You know, same shit. Different day. Just work. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting into again busy se- mm-hmm. busy season. Mm-hmm. You know, holiday time. Everybody wants to look nice and um, yes and good. Got some new products that I'm working with. Um, started, girl, I started doing, because I already do, I started like kind of working on this um, henna, like, you know, henna t- for the brows, enhancement for the brows. I'm oh, for okay. Girl, I be. okay. So I, I did a client yesterday, which who mm-hmm. is my daughter and who is mm-hmm. my guinea pig for mm-hmm. everything. Girl, it was hilarious. But what? it came but it came out really, really good. It came okay. out way better. I just gotta practice more. So okay. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at all my friends, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> gonna I'm gonna be calling out all my homies that come out here just so I could practice. It's yeah. a little harder than I thought I was gonna oh, be. Okay. Just because it does tint not all you know, it just kinda enhances your brow, your skin. Mm-hmm. It does all kinds of other stuff. But you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, um, just busy working. Yeah. Yeah, just busy. Aren't you about to travel again? Yeah. To, oh, you know, I'm always traveling. Teaching. Yeah, another teaching gig. I got, I actually got two. I got one in another state and I got one here out in California. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm in November. I have one in California. So if you follow me on Instagram mm-hmm. and um, or Facebook or anything and you are in Cali and you want to learn how to really do some really magnificent speed waxing mm-hmm. and um, for body and to literally do um, a really good as painless as possible Brazilian. Follow me. We'll let you. Mm-hmm. I'll, you'll know where I'll be at. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was funny that um, you say that because I had a, I have a client I haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. She was running late, and I literally had an hour. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, we had an hour and fifteen minutes, and so I, I, she was like, "What the hell, Inez? You were so quick." I was like, "Yo, I pretty much did her half leg Brazilian underarms and her brows in an hour and fifteen minutes. The legs are usually the hardest mm-hmm. and take longer. I, I killed <clears> through her legs. She's like, "What the?" I was like, "You know what? All this teaching and mm-hmm. always doing it has gotten you even even quicker than I was already quick." Yeah. But, you know, outside of that is good, you know, that's nice. basically it. And then so let's yeah. talk about, you know, hot what, topics. There's hot a lot going on. Girl. So first, before we get into the really politics hot topics, because people love that, love listening to our views. Well, yours, because you just because, you know, you I'm go always off. A, so first, before we get into that, I just wanted to kind of touch on um it's October, um, Domestic Violence Month. And so, Breast Awareness and Breast Month. Breast Awareness Month. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I can say for myself, 
that with the uh, domestic violence month, I have been um, around it. I know people have, that have gone through I it. Think and, everybody has. Yeah. So it's one of those things where, you know, I hear a lot of, oh, want that person just leave or anything, you know, stuff like that. And it's just like sometimes, you know, it it's not that easy. Yeah. It, 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 I think that's a, that's a huge, I think um, with being aware, I think more and more now people are realizing mm-hmm. that it's not that easy. Um, I, it goes down to us being more uh, sympathetic and yeah. helping someone realizing, you know, if you're until you're in that situation, mm-hmm. you know, you don't, I, I know people that have been in that situation. You kind of go, Oh my gosh, like, why don't you get out? Mm-hmm. Um, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. It, a lot of it has to do more with their fear, the fear of them, uh, their, the other partner hurting mm-hmm. someone. Um, I have like, thank God I have not been in that mm-hmm. situation, yeah. but I've always made it very clear up front from beginning. Um, that I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell. Yeah. I oh, yeah. will tell on oh, yeah. you. Oh, oh, yeah. We were going to fight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to beat you. You're going to beat me. <laughs> then I'm going to tell my Let mom, my dad, everybody and say, exactly. yes, that motherfucker hit me oh, and yeah. I don't have a problem. Exactly. So I think that was a very, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they're like, and a lot of them think I'm nuts anyway. So mm-hmm. it's just kind of, it kind of, yeah. but for all those out there that are suffering from that, just know that you are not alone. Mm-hmm. That there are many services. There are people out there that are willing to help. And get you out of that mm-hmm. situation. Nobody's saying it's easy. I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, I cannot imagine being in yeah. someone. And I have to say this. This goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, I think oh, yeah. a lot of go oh, women, women, but men. Yeah. Men are uh, also victims. Uh, men men are well. victims, especially mm-hmm. men that... Um, refuse to go to that level Mm -hmm. to hit a woman Mm -hmm. are brought up in a different way so a woman gets out of hand hits does all these things and then I think the law enforcement goes your man how could you allow a woman Mm -hmm. to hit is um, a lot of times it's due to the yeah Yeah. to that fact that they just don't I don't hit women I'm Mm -hmm. not going to do it so some women take advantage of that and go to the other end so either way um, if you're a man or a woman you know or if you're a woman or a man in Mm -hmm. that situation just know that you know you uh, there are ways to get out and oh, yeah. there is There's ways centers and in centers and communities, Talk to your, uh, church leaders, you know, someone at work, whoever you feel comfortable with, um, speak with them. Yeah. And a, a lot of times, um, a lot of times what I've realized, too, that the um, the person who is victimizing someone mm-hmm. has a lot more to lose. Yeah. So they instill fear because they're afraid of what they got going on. Mm-hmm. So once someone is exposed yeah. The exposure, there is really no place for mm-hmm. them to hide. Yeah. So, you know, either way, I, I you know, I always say, I don't know. I, mm-hmm. I've never been. But for me, I'd rather go down um, fighting than just not go, d- you know. Yeah. That's even, true. you know, we were talking about how, uh, speaking of which, just, you know, violence in the streets, how things yeah. are going down now. Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. Which part of our hot topics, actually, all the craziness that's going on. Um, mm-hmm. I actually, um, yesterday, um, there was a shooting in Kentucky. Um, at a grocery store, Kroger grocery store, a um, man went in and shot two black people. And what really, you know, freaked me out is my brother lives in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I literally texted him last night. I was like, what's happening? Where are you? You know, him, his wife and uh, his kids. And I'm like, he said he was fine and stuff. But he said it's really crazy out there right now. So I'm like on high alert, just staying in touch with him yep. and my family because things are just out, out of, control. of control. And here's here's again. Um, you know, uh, we'll go back to breast awareness, but yes. since we're on this uh, here again, it goes, it starts from the top. Mm-hmm. 45 has, it inv- has invoked this, uh, go ahead and get them attitude. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't matter. Violence type of deal. Mm-hmm. Now people are out here thinking that they can do whatever the, the, whatever the fuck exactly. they want to do. And here again, mm-hmm. we have another situation where, uh, someone, uh, a white man, I'm mm-hmm. going to just keep it 100, mm-hmm. you know me, a white man is going in, doing, and they're going to call him mentally ill, mm-hmm. and he's just going to get locked up. There's no, there's no other reason other, oh, well, he's yeah. mentally ill. Yeah. Fuck that shit. He ain't mentally yeah. ill. This is just someone who, as a matter of fact, it was, from what I understand, it was heard that a, mm-hmm. another gentleman, another white man, mm-hmm. had a gun mm-hmm. and was pointing, was like basically telling him, "Put your gun down," because mm-hmm. you know, I, I, it, you know, you can bear arms and he yeah. had the right to bear yeah. arms and that. And the and the man, the shooter, basically said, um, uh, "Don't shoot white people. Don't shoot other white people." 
That's crazy. So uh, we're in and it's right. Listen, here's another thing, people. Don't let all of this craziness mm-hmm. stop you to from going to the polls. Yes. Go Please and don't. vote. You know, the, that leads into what happened just recently with all these bombs yeah, going which, into, you know, another hot topic. We're just, yeah. just leading into other things. Yes. That it's all kind of connected in some exactly. way where they're, you know, they sent all these bombs mm-hmm. to all these Democratic um, leaders. Leaders. And then 45. Sorry, guys. I had a Red Bull and I'm just a Red Bull and wine. We keep it real. Unfiltered. (laughs) um, You know, they're sending this and 45 is basically blaming Mm -hmm. the media. Yes. You know, blaming the media for what the 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 hate he has Mm spewed and put in. And that actually lets me know Mm -hmm. if you really think about this, that they're running scared and they're worried. Mm hmm. That they're not, you know, people are going to go out in troves to vote. They're mm-hmm. trying to stop people in Georgia. They're trying to stop people from going out there and vote. Know your rights. Mm-hmm. You have the right to vote. Go out there and vote. Don't mm-hmm. let nothing or no one or fear. Fear is a great. Is, fear can That's cripple ultimate, somebody. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not shit. I was like, well, hell, I'm going out there and vote. Well, if the bomb oh, yeah. is building, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> you, it's still my, got, it's you still, still got to get your vote in. It's my time to go. At least I know I, I went, went out, out right. There, and trying to do something. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all of this violence and all yeah. of this is a very, very, it's a scary it's time. Toxic. It's a very tough, to- yes, and scary time that people are afraid. But don't let fear, you know, stop you from doing what you're doing and that mm-hmm. you know what's right in your heart. You know, this fear mongering against Muslims, the fear mongering, mm-hmm. mongering against um, uh, Latinos and people, immigrants, all of this. Listen, we all know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care what you want to say. We all know history and uh, people like to rewrite history. Big time. OK, now here's the thing. We're kind of they're trying to rewrite history and trying to do things. Everybody here is a damn immigrant. Mm-hmm. Unless you're Native American. I mean, his wife is <laughs> like, girl. Come on. But it's his wife is a good immigrant for him. It's like it's you pick your choose. Right. You know, Russian, mm-hmm. you know, good. Im- you know, it, it, this yeah. is all about what benefits him and his family. At the end of the day, when his term is over, what did you get out of it and what laws and how is he helping mm-hmm. you? And he's not helping anybody but nope. himself. Exactly. In his family and the people he went to bed with to get to where he is. Mm-hmm. That's just my opinion. And my that's that's why it's my podcast. I can say whatever the hell I want to say. You go. So <laughs> at the end of the day it is what it is and yeah. if, you know facts what is it facts don't lie yeah and we need to stop harassing the media the media is telling the truth mm-hmm. unless it's otherwise known i've never i've never known anyone to ever sit there and say media and the, mm-hmm. the media is always constantly lying now let's keep it 100 i was watching fox news a little bit mm-hmm. and even some of his own people in fox news are well like well you know they're trying mm-hmm. to clean up his shit but they can't really clean you up can't. his. you can't didn't he on um some uh other day or some he was like i'm a nationalist a, a girl like are you crazy are you crazy you're gonna let and people are gonna be like yay do you do you even know, realize what a nationalist <laughs> is people people is are so 20, is this america is this 2018 like what is happening i don't know girl i it's just like you know uh i'm hoping that in the end you know i always believe you know it, that good outweighs evil mm-hmm. and right now we're just in an evil time and eventually we're going to get out of i was like can can superman be real right now i swear <laughs> we need somebody just to come over and sprinkle like some, swear, something over you this know, can entire we get, country know, can we just get the unicorn to redo poop, it something. You know, something the rainbows smack the, somebody upside the head anything. or something i mean to the point now mm-hmm. now Speaking of which, mm-hmm. that, you know, Trump, some of his supporters, uh-huh. Caitlyn Jenner was one that was all oh, about yes. girl. I saw all that. about. And now she talking about girl. Bye. Yes. Sit your ass down. Now she talking about, uh, well, I was wrong. Bitch, you should have known he was wrong from get go. Exactly. He has no love for people like you. Mm-hmm. Like all he's this, rewriting laws. It, it, now she's realizing that, that affect transgender women. Like everybody, and like, for him, and because you're a Republican, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you're because it didn't benefit it, her at that time. At that time, now it was like, oh, he's going to do okay. He's going to be fine. He's going to be for everybody. But now it's affecting you. Now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. See, because that's why I said you got to be careful. Because just because he's pointing at one person mm-hmm. or another group of people doesn't mean he ain't coming for you. Exactly. So you know, like they said, this whole immigration thing. Everybody's like, oh, Muslim, Mexican. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, it's going to be you're Irish, you're mm-hmm. this, you're that. 
eight. Yeah. It's going to be everybody. Exactly. And that's what people aren't realizing. It's like, and I I don't know what show this was I was watching, but it's like, just when you vote for somebody, it's not about getting 100% of what you want. You're never going to get everything you want not. out of not anybody. Not even in a marriage or it's, with your exactly. boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever you're with. You, know, you don't get 100%. Exactly. But at some point, you would think that it's also not just about you. It's about your neighbor. It's about your school, the school district. It's about the Hello. teachers. It's about, you know, the sinners and the cops. It's like, you want to make sure whatever laws that are in place are going to benefit everybody, everybody, everybody because, family, because you're all together in that and community. And at the end of the day, in that community, because even if it doesn't benefit one, eventually it's going to go down and trickle to you where mm-hmm. it's not going to benefit you. Exactly. That's what people don't understand. Well, it doesn't it doesn't affect me. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Because eventually you're going to be caught up in that in that oh, mess yeah. mm-hmm. just as well. They're going to raise some type of price. They're going to raise gas. They're going to raise light bill. They're going to do something that that's going to affect you. Yeah, but and you're because, asked out. Exactly. And don't be mad later and crying. Mm-hmm. Listen, that's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do. No, but um, did you see um, about um, Megyn Kelly? No. What? Have, oh, yes, girl. About the blackface. About blackface. Listen. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody told me she's like 47 years old or something like that. And um, she was like, it was fine to do blackface (laughs) (laughs) when she was little. What? What? It's like you can like I have no words. Like at what point do you realize you're on national TV talking about this? Here's the thing. It's saying it's okay. Okay. So. I have to I have to say I understand where she's coming from in the face of her ignorance. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying what she's saying is right. Mm-hmm. Okay, cuz I'm all about like let's yeah. keep it but from from her point of view mm-hmm. and I listen to what she was saying, I can understand where she's coming from like yo, what's the problem? It's Halloween. Aren't we supposed to, you know, here, hold up. Aren't we supposed to just sit here and dress up however we want to and do whatever we want to? It was never an issue. Mm-hmm. It was never an issue. So in Halloween, if you, you know, somebody, you know, like they said, a white person liked a person of color and they they because they wanted to pay tribute. Not everybody does. I'm mm-hmm. just saying mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it from her point of view. Mm-hmm. Right. And she's saying all of this. She's like, it's just Halloween. It's just a day. But I get where she's coming from. But at the end of the day, in a time like today, mm-hmm. you cannot. You cannot do that. That's like, a, you know, uh, it's just not politically. It's not it's not politically correct. It's insensitive. Mm-hmm. And it's like us now all of a sudden knowing. Here's the thing. Knowing how indigenous, you know, people feel about dressing up as a mm-hmm. uh, as an Indian, you know, with the feathers and all of that. Now mm-hmm. for Halloween, they're saying, please don't do that. Mm-hmm. That's our culture. That's who mm-hmm. we are. It's not a costume. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, being dressing as that or dressing, uh, you know, blackface or dressing Mm -hmm. as any other thing. Here's, you know, it's it's one of those things where you're just kind of like we have to be more sensitive about things and how people a lot of people might be like, oh, suck it up. Everybody's so sensitive. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a time where unless we start communicating and showing love for one another, you just can't. That's like somebody dressing like a Mexican right now. Yeah. (laughs) And such. (laughs) Uh Um. Keeping it 100, put on the sombrero, yeah. do whatever and want to say, I'm a Mexican. Or, you know, putting on yeah. the FM, or putting on a dot and saying, I'm an Indian from India. Doing it's, too much, yeah. You're just doing way too yeah. much. Now, here we're now, the, with that said, mm-hmm. now all these little kids out here at Halloween want to talk about, like, their favorite characters. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, now uh, Disney is going into multicultural mm-hmm. characters. Okay. You know, now we have Moana. Right. Yeah. She is a Pacific Islander. Yeah. You know, we have Tiana. She's a black girl. You know, we have Mulan. She's an Asian girl. Mm-hmm. You know, we have Pocahontas. Now, how do we t- now? How do we teach our children? Mm-hmm. This is a question for everybody to really think about. Yeah. How do we teach our? Because I understand as a child, ch- children, unless you're taught, mm-hmm. don't see hate, don't see color, yeah. don't see. That's something that's taught. Mm-hmm. How, now, now, how do you tell a little girl that you know she's a little white girl and her favorite character is Moana that yeah. she cannot be Moana <clears throat> for Halloween yeah. because now we're culturally. And so, or she can't be Tiana, or she can't yeah. be Pocahontas. You could put the dress on her. You know, you could do that. Put the hair in a bow or whatever. I haven't seen or the movie what, or whatever. Uh, uh, but you'd be out of darkening her skin. 
No, of course not. Yeah, no. Uh, well, I'm just saying you could just yeah. add, just be her without doing the extras. Yeah, yeah. Because of, what was it? Um, I, I think there's a makeup artist, Ellery. She has, a, I think her daughter's name is Yoshi. Um, okay. And she's a makeup artist and they do a lot of makeup. Mm-hmm. So uh, her daughter has her own Instagram page mm-hmm. and she decided that her uh, she wanted to be Meredith from um, Brave, which is an Irish redhead Okay. Um, girl who uh-huh. doesn't believe in she wants to she's independent mm-hmm. so they did her eyebrows red mm-hmm. they put on a red wig they made her whole thing but she's just a black Meredith which okay. I thought was super cute okay. now are we gonna beat up this little girl because yeah. I'm just it's just yeah. all over the place with the little kids I can see that but yeah. as an adult you should know better yeah oh yeah big time big time that's crazy seriously crazy I mean these are questions that we need to start asking ourselves no I mean I we, want, we want to be we want to be how do you call it? We want to be re- represented in yeah. all areas. Yeah. Okay. Which I think is important. Mm-hmm. But now one time of the year. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody, I want to play my favorite. I want to be my favorite character, which I do believe you can still be. You don't need to be. You, you don't need to gotta go over. You don't with have it. to paint your face. Yeah. You don't. I mean, you know, who was it? Somebody else did that, too. And they got in mm-hmm. trouble because they uh, they were um, someone from Origins and New Black and they did blackface. That was a, oh. uh, yeah, God, I think it was Huff. I can't remember her name, mm-hmm. but she was with Dancing with the Stars mm-hmm. and she got in trouble for that too because she, oh, really? she was playing. Um, I know uh, the girl from the uh, Real Housewives of um, New York, Luann, I think. Yeah, she because she, she, because, she yeah, blackened she, her face, yeah, darkened she, her face or whatever. Cause cause she she was was her. Her. <laughs> I was like, girl, stop it. <laughs> All she needed was the wig. The, and, the and, and the dress or whatever. She, and said, I'm, I'm Diana Ross. And had a microphone and say, I'm Durant. That's it. That's it. I agree on Once that. again, going over. But, I, but I'm just saying I'm trying to be devil's advocate here. You know, I'm never I, on that other I side. I know, I know. I'm, I'm just usually, trying to say, yes, yeah. I'm trying to just say, what if mm-hmm. and how do you deal with this? Because mm-hmm. these are questions that, you know, mm-hmm. am I going to be offended that a little, no, of course not. I'm not going to yeah. be offended that a little girl, yeah. a little boy. Of course. Wants to, what if a little boy wants to be um, T'Challa yeah. from Black Panther? Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Give him like, the sword and the... Whatever, give him the suit, the, suit, whatever. the suit, whatever, you know, yeah. and just, yeah, we don't need to paint his face. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He can still be these characters, mm-hmm. but we don't need to paint each other's faces. What about yes. a clown? Is that being disrespectful? Okay. I'm done. Okay, so supposedly, kind of going back to um, the bombing with the Democratic mm-hmm. leaders, supposedly they have somebody in custody, mm-hmm. a registered Republican Republican mm-hmm. uh, from South Florida, mm-hmm. Caesar Sayak. He's 56, and he supposedly has a criminal record. Now, they can play this either way. So we're going to do like they did when they did Kennedy accuse or when they did a Martin Luther King mm-hmm. accuse somebody who said they didn't do it just mm-hmm. because they needed to get somebody. Exactly. Uh, that's all I'm asking. You never know. So what do you think? What do I think? Mm-hmm. Suspect it of being mm-hmm. the guy. I need more. I need more information. Yeah. I need more information. Middle age, uh, they say middle age white Florida man. Okay, so what? Okay, so now, and, Mister Forty Five, what you gonna say? He's <laughs> mentally ill. <laughs> because mean, if it, were, I'm glad. I'm just gonna keep it one. I'm glad. Like he's a, a, I'm glad it's not a, a tr- person of a. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad it's not a person of color. It's because it would have been a terrorist attack. Now, yeah. The, um, and are just, they are they gonna bring that up? That's a good girl, question. You already know. That's a good question. I bet you. That they ain't going to say was a terrorist attack. That mm-hmm. is some white dude who's a Trump believer, who's mm-hmm. mentally ill, and we need to give him uh, mental health services. Yeah. From the By the way, from the health care, he's cutting from you, but hey, whatever. <laughs> people, people like seriously. From the hell of the mental yes. health care they that need to you educate can't get. Themselves. They but we're going to give it to somebody who's sitting there literally bomb, uh, mm-hmm. making bombs and threatening people. But yeah. okay, I guess. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> You were too much. Did you see about uh, the backlash that um, Kendall Jenner got? Yes. Oh. I'm so sick what? of all of them. I, I can't. <laughs> Every single time, I'm like over it. It's mm-hmm. like, whatever. They're trying to say, uh, listen, mm-hmm. you all, all y'all ladies, mm-hmm. Kardashians, Jenners, already know that people feel some type of way about everything. Mm-hmm. Right. So with that said, you have to walk a thin line. Mm-hmm. If you already know you think it's cute 
and whatever, I would have been like, yo, can we, I might have stopped back. And mind you, that one of her friends told her, I think you might have went a little bit too far. There was an interview with that. But at the end of the day, I know she did. They love controversy. Mm -hmm. They love a little bit of, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so since all of that is going on, I'm not surprised. The same way with the whole stupid Pepsi commercial. Like, I don't know who her people are. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> who do you have around yeah. you? I yeah. would be like, I need to get a whole new camp and a whole new team because you all be fucking with my shit. <laughs> I can't well, even why do. Why couldn't Vogue just get a black uh, model? Again, from? like it is because Vogue is dumb. One, two, they're trying to capitalize on Jenner's popularity the brand okay yeah. the brand and the whole thing great put her in a long flow i don't care like no. yeah yes they're saying well there are a lot of white girls and women are white that have curly hair yes but they don't use their hair in that manner where it looks like it's an afro yeah so again i might her people vote people are just i don't know <laughs> I, I really don't know. People yeah. always have an excuse for everything. Mm-hmm. And people aren't thinking when you have somebody in power that is invoking like pretty much say and do whatever you want to do. People are saying and doing whatever they want to do. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm not surprised, though. They're always doing something. I I'm know. like, and here we go again. They're, exactly. And it's always we something. We'll probably have something tomorrow. Who knows? But girl, you know, well, let's kind of bring it back to um, to, uh, breast cancer. Yes, oh, yeah. Before we before we wrap up. up. Man, we can keep going on on I hot know. topics. We're going to have to pretty much do hot topics. A little hot topic every time because it just it gets hotter much. and hotter. Yeah. It's sizzling. Did you just sizzle, sizzle and tap myself? <laughs> yes, I did. Because I, I was hot too. Anyways, bringing it back to <laughs> breast aware, cancer, uh, breast awareness month. Um, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, you are not a, um, Opposed, you're yes. immune, immune to getting breast cancer. Make sure you are checking yourselves, checking your lumps, going and getting your mammograms. Mm-hmm. Um, nowadays, cancer doesn't care about race, creed, age, um, ethnicity, nothing. If you're, are you serious right now? OMG, she's fired, people. She's fired. <laughs> oh, MG. Anyways, <laughs> go check yourself out. Make sure, you know, um, you guys take care of yourselves. Um, do research. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm no, I know we all know somebody who has, has been through survivors, you know, stay proud and up. Everyone who has passed, we, um, Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. The uh, the mascara. We wish you nothing but yes. um, peace and rest. And um, all we have to say now in these times, you guys, all we want to spread is a little bit of. We I know we laugh and a little bit of mm-hmm. giggle, but we also want to spread love and um, unity and realize that we're all human beings and we're all here to stay. And that um, with a little love and a little peace and a little bit of understanding, we can make this a better place. There we go. All right. So again. Yeah wrap that up with saying thank you guys for listening we appreciate it just make sure you follow us on all of our social media facebook instagram twitter and uh check us out on spotify itunes and um soundcloud talk to you later bye guys thanks for listening take a little time to enjoy your brand of moscato and tea with us every day subscribe rate and follow us on instagram twitter facebook and moscatoandtea.com